case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark 1968 case, Dart v. Western Savings and Loan Asin, the Arizona Supreme Court grappled with pivotal questions about the foreclosure of mortgages, the appointment of receivers, and the rights of beneficiaries of trusts. The principal players in the drama were Western Savings and Loan Association, trailer park owner Dart and his wife, and Inland Western Mortgage Company, all entangled in a complex legal dispute involving a trailer park mortgage. The dispute ignited when Western Savings launched a lawsuit with the aim of foreclosing a first mortgage and securing the appointment of a receiver. Inland, escalating tensions, swiftly retaliated with a cross-claim aiming to foreclose a second mortgage on the trailer park and a first mortgage on Dart's home. Dart countered, proclaiming himself the beneficiary of a trust and slapping Union Title Company with a cross-claim for converting trust funds, a charge Union readily admitted to, even disclosing an arrearage of $18,500 on the first mortgage. Complicating matters still further, Dart and his wife took physical possession of the property after Union Title's embezzlement of the trailer park income. As a result, they collected a monthly rental sum amounting to approximately $5,000. Despite the adequate security of the mortgage, the court controversially appointed receivers, a decision the higher court would later deem improper. In an unexpected twist, the court ruled that the appellant, as the trust's residuary beneficiary, was entitled to occupy the property and make improvements. It claimed that the lower court made an error in not either proclaiming a new trustee or allowing Dart to claim possession alongside the commitment of a bond to maintain the property. In conclusion, the dispute saw the receiver's appointments vacated and the case relegated for further action. Dart's exceptional challenge to the receiver appointments, which cited ample security and no risk of waste, had undoubtedly proved persuasive. The case continues to reverberate in the annals of judicial precedent, serving as a cornerstone for foreclosure disputes related to propriety ownership and trust management claims. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.